What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, as you guys saw, we had a pretty fun track day, but there was a little bit of problems and issues. Um, randomly, I'm going back to the track with TJ on Tuesday, so I have some stuff to do to the car, as you guys saw. I need a new alignment, uh, some turbo coolant lines, and some wiring done to the car, just to make sure everything's decent enough to be able to go drive and go get some good practice in, and actually burn through my tires instead of only one set. So we're gonna dive right into that stuff right now. So on my turbo, I run uh, water lines and oil lines for cooling the turbo. Uh, as far as like a performance aspect, it's definitely the way to go. But uh, as you can see, the lines are right there and they get a lot of heat. So this line was replaced, the one that goes right here. It's hard to see, but uh, this one over here hasn't been replaced since I put it on the car about a year and a half ago. Um, it's kind of hard to see right now because it is dark and everything, but when I pull this off, you'll see how cracked it is and how melted it is. And that would really suck because if that went at the track and it exploded, I would be done for the day and I wouldn't be able to get that line anywhere. So definitely trying to do some preventative maintenance so I can get out there and have as much fun as possible. Yo, Carlos got a new car. So, so it's my new 135. It's no, Carlos no, it's, 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 cool. it's, it's definitely Carlos's. Hey, Carlos, we'll start in Japan. <laughs> we'll start in Japan. <laughs> How much power does it have, Carlos? I don't know, like, like 400? No, nah, it's like 350, I think, something like that. Yeah, so this is Carlos's new car. It's a 2009, 2009. Uh, it has like a Cobb access port and stuff, or did you take it off? What's up, guys? Now we're in the inside of the car. I know we were on the outside before, Yo, but is that a welcome. Fax machine? Dude. Yo, that, that's a fax machine. It's got a phone holder. Yo, that, that's a printer. Hey, that's, a, that's a printer, there's Yo, no fax. It's got a Cobb. It works it, super well. <laughs> You got toilet paper just in case, you know. Already running into some problems. Uh, the little nut to get the hose clamp off for the line is a six millimeter wrench and all I have is an eight. So I'm going to cruise over to Home Depot, get a six millimeter wrench, and then also I'm gonna get some nut and bolts to be able to mount my battery to the floorboard so that doesn't bounce around and nothing sketchy happens. Also, I'm gonna cruise over to Abel's right now, go get that turbo line, and then uh, I have some uh, parts of his I need to get back to him and uh, some tools he let me borrow. So we're gonna head over to Abel's and I'll see you guys there. Got the new little hose. Wish I could have got this from somewhere closer because uh, Mr. Mr. Canfield and I just sat in an hour of traffic and we're about to sit in another hour of traffic. Backwards. Why'd you do it backwards? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, so it, it's like two hours later of sitting in traffic, and we stopped at Home Depot to try and get some tools. You just farted really bad, <laughs> dude. I heard that. I did not. <laughs> okay, we stopped at Home Depot to try and get some tools, but they're way too expensive. So we're here at Good Old Harbor Freight to get some crappy tools, but they will get the job done, won't they, Phil? Yeah. Dude, really and they have and it's twenty percent off right now, isn't it? Yes. You just spent way too much money. Jace convinced me to buy this 225 piece set. I got this bag full of stuff. <laughs> so hopefully I'm pretty set up for working on my car in the garage now. And Jace said he wants to use my tools. So looks like it's gonna be Jace's tools and my tools now. So we just got back to the house and Jason has his car up on some jack stands. What are you doing, Phil? Dude, it's, it's, a, it's a mess right now. I'm not gonna lie. You decided to spend some money today? Yeah, I spent a little bit of money. Uh, I got PBM's new drop knuckle for the rear, for the Z. It's yeah. dumb lit. Insanely it's, light. It's super sick. And I also got the upper arm for it and I got a new camber arm because mine has play in it and it makes the wheel shake, so it's super annoying. So now you'll have full PBM front and rear, yeah, coilovers, I, I, arms. I, I have every suspension arm that PBM makes for the Z. Yeah, so here, I'm gonna show you guys the arms that he just got right now. So this knuckle is literally probably the lightest knuckle I've ever picked up. Like, look, I'll, it's hanging right now onto my pinky. Here we go. Pinky, that's a full knuckle. So as you can see, that's insanely light and then these are, uh, this is one of the arms that he got, and then I believe he got another arm also. But yeah, so he's working on that right now, and then I'm about to do some work on the FD. Uh, this is the stuff that I bought from Harbor Freight, so I got this like, I think it's a 200 and, yeah, 225 piece tool set. It is Harbor Freight tools, but they're definitely, they'll, they'll get the job done. So as you can see, it fucking has like literally almost everything I'll need. I need to get more wrenches, but this is just a cool little box that I can take to the track and uh, wasn't too expensive, so if stuff gets lost, I'll be bummed, but it's not like it's snap-on stuff. So, nice little toolbox here, and then uh, this is the bag that I got. So, nice little track bag to uh, have like zip ties and everything in. But yeah, so I got like two things, zip ties, some gloves, a uh, little measuring tape, electrical tape, um, a razor blade and some, some blades, and uh, paper towels and brake cleaner. So just some basic stuff that I wanted for Tuesday, 
And uh, yeah, let's get back to the FD. So I'm gonna pull this in, do that coolant line, and then start going down the list and all the stuff that I have to get done. But Jason's stuck right here, it's all in the weight. I don't understand how he got his hand inside here, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys in a second once he gets this line pulled off, and uh, I'll show you exactly how bad this line is and why I had to change it. After like 30 minutes of struggling with this thing, I finally got it off. You can see just how like destroyed and crusted it is. Obviously I had to cut down the center, but the pieces are just like falling apart on it. And uh, I had to break it all the way down here where it was like over that little nipple and then yeah well i'll show you guys exactly how bad the line is in a second once i get it fully off but finally got it off so hyped on that and uh, it's one step closer to getting the car done now you guys can get a better look at this line obviously i cut it down the center right here but it was disgusting like all cracked and destroyed um this is a really good line though it lasted me about two years i think or maybe it was about a year and a half but i uh, already had to throw the new line on because when i pulled this off of the bottom uh where the block is all the coolant out of the motor, or not coolant, but distilled water started pouring out of the bottom of the motor. And this engine is very hard to bleed properly. So I threw that line on really quick. Now it's time to struggle and get the other hard part on. And then uh, coolant line is uh, all fixed and we're good to go. The new turbo coolant line is now on. Uh, I actually lost some water when I took that bottom line off because it's lower than the radiator, obviously. But uh, just filled up with some distilled water. So I'll have to uh, bleed the coolant tomorrow in the daytime when uh, the neighbors won't get pissed off. So I'm gonna put that on the list to do for tomorrow. And then uh, now I need to figure something out with how I'm gonna mount my battery and a few other things. Sorry, I forgot to close out the video, but uh, as we were working on the car, it started getting super late and had to wrap things up super fast because uh, neighbors, I don't know, getting kind of weird. It was definitely way past the time that we should have been working on our cars. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do. And I'll see you guys in the next one.